We'll guide you through how to scan a Wi-Fi QR code on your laptop and computer. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and also liking the video. And let's get into this. Firstly, what you need to do is get the QR code onto your laptop. So what you can either do is if it's digital, then that's fine. If it's like a physical paper card with the QR code on, what I recommend you do is take a photo with your phone, or if your laptop or computer's got a camera, you can take a picture with that. And then just make sure you've got that picture or photo on your computer. In this case here, I've got my QR code here. This was a digital one, so it's slightly easier for me. Um, but yeah, if it's physical and in paper, just take a picture of it. Then what you need to do is open up a web browser. I'll just use Chrome, but you can use any. One website I like to use is called qreader.online, but there are many others just like it. So I'll just go and search for it like this and then go to the website. And then what we can do is go and upload the file. Click on choose file and your file explorer will then open. Locate the QR image you've got, then tap open. And just like that, you're then gonna go and be given some sort of text or numbers. It's quite likely and maybe a bit more complicated than mine and you may go and see the Wi-Fi password in some sort of colons or speech marks or something like that. But all you need to do is go and copy it like this, then you could right click it and press copy. And then once you've got the code, we can then go and join the Wi-Fi network. To do that, we just need to go and open up our settings. I'll press on start, then settings, or you can just go and search for settings as well. And then you just go over to the left to press network and internet, and then tap on Wi-Fi, and then show available networks, choose the network you want to join and press connect. And then all you need to do is go and paste in the key and then you can go and tap on next and go and connect to the network. If you found this guide useful, please leave a like.